Raphus cucullatus, commonly known as the dodo, a majestic bird discovered in 1598 on the Isle of Mauritius. As fast as it was discovered, it was extinct. It didn't flee or hide when man came ashore, making it an easy prey. The bird was labeled as a creature of low intelligence. I call it curiosity, a characteristic which can be both enriching as it can be overwhelming. I always felt a resemblance between me and this exotic bird, but it wasn't quite clear to me for a long time. From an early age, I always surrounded myself with nature. I was always exploring and discovering new plants and animals. I would bring them home, draw them, and make up names that seemed fitting. Accompanied by all these different species, I created my own little world. I couldn't imagine that there was more for me to discover, not until I was a little older and got my first encyclopedia. There was a complete new world waiting for me. Rainforests filled with birds in the most vivid colors and exotic traditions and customs that were so different from my own. I read every single book that I could find which would teach me anything about this world I was living in and knew so little about. It was no surprise that at college my favorite place was their enormous library. I read and I read. I drowned myself in the ocean of books. I had no interest for the social aspects of student life. I found my friends in the books of Verne, Wallace and Darwin. This was the life I aimed for. A life of adventure and travel. I decided to leave college in advance gave my globe a spin and let it decide where my adventure would start. It had to be faith. My globe took me to Mauritius, the Isle of the Dodo. The journey to Mauritius made such a great impression on me. It encouraged me to travel and discover more. I traveled from the darkest parts of Africa to the widest plains of Australia, from the rainforests of Chile to the extreme coldness of Antarctica. I brought back reptiles, plants, seeds, shells. I found relics in the Middle East. I had crates full of curiosities shipped overseas to fill every cabinet, cupboard and corner of the room. And after 30 years of traveling, seeing the northernmost of the north to the southernmost of the south, I finally captured the world in my room. I could travel from one continent to the other in a matter of footsteps. Although my room was filled with plenty of curiosities and animals, there was always the feeling of something missing. This emptiness sustained until the day I found my old journal the journal in which I would draw as a child. That's when I figured out what the resemblance was between me and the dodo. We both share the same eager curiosity. Because of this need to find and explore new things, I neglected one of the most important things. I forgot to stand still and look at things differently, forming new ideas and stories using my imagination.
That is why I am writing you this letter. As a reminder to look a little closer or a little longer because there is always something new to discover when using your imagination. <laughs>